We're back here on Weather Command. A bit of an update. Um, the one truth still remains. The Pacific is uh, lit up like a firecracker. Yeah. Right? One yeah. after another. It's a trop tropical traffic jam. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tropical trip. I guess, but they're on the move. Yeah, it's a, and it's a conga line, but not the fun kind, yeah, right? right. Not that, honestly, I'm not a fan of conga lines. But the update that we do have that's worth noting is that Iona no longer a tropical storm. The National Hurricane Center now tagging this as Iona a hurricane. So Hurricane Iona, Category 1. Mm -hmm. uh, it just achieved that earlier this morning and noticing that you have other chances behind it. Tropical Depression 2C and then Invest 98E. 2C is new too? That I think was, actually that is new, yeah. This was an Invest. Um, and now it's TD 2C. With the newest update. Right. So the Central Pacific is getting all the attention mm -hmm. right now. I mean, it's not often that you do get a named storm in the Central Pacific. It's why um, Haley was talking about it too. We had Britta on earlier this morning how these, these names are just not used that yeah. often in the Central Pacific. If we had one that formed in the EPAC and moved into the Central mm -hmm. Pacific, it would maintain its, its, its name. Its name. Right. It wouldn't but, switch. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's been an active morning, and it was anticipated that Iona would, in fact, um, graduate to a hurricane yeah. very briefly, maybe some rapid intensification, and then quickly enter into the colder water. So that's a look at, actually, do you want to switch more this way, Stephen? Walk. <laughs> walk with me. You, <laughs> we'll split the difference. We'll split the difference. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is that. <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> the side? Is this I'm weird? not used to you being on the side. <laughs> um, <laughs> the 11 a.m. advisory, everything feels off. 75 mile per hour winds. They're moving west at 10 miles per hour. So a decent pace. All right. Yeah, they're going to. And John, I'm sorry. You're going to hate me. I'll move back <laughs> just to keep it because we're here for a couple minutes. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so what, one thing of note with um, Iona. It rapidly intensified. Yes. I mean, it will It will be maybe going through mm -hmm. that process of by this time oh, tomorrow morning, we've yeah. got 100 mile an hour. That is yeah. a stronger one. So, and this has it maybe going up to 100 miles per hour into tomorrow. So it is a slight change from earlier when it was anticipated to strengthen later today and then maybe even weakening by tonight into tomorrow. So yeah. we'll see, we'll see. Either way, the big thing is with the update to a hurricane, we don't anticipate any impacts to the Hawaiian Islands, no watches, no coastal warnings, nothing has been issued. Yeah, there it is. Um, and actually it's, it's interesting because you can see within the purview, there is just a lot of disturbed weather. So you have the core of Iona mm -hmm. uh, right now and then just off to the east, there's more disturbed mm -hmm. weather, more activity that we'll be yeah. following. Of course, we've got the uh, the next tropical depression, which mm -hmm. could that receive a name perhaps? We'll see, but they are kind of working in tandem. Yeah, right? yeah, I mean, following close behind and yeah. everything expected to strengthen because you do have a relatively uh, inviting atmosphere. So this is just showing you today as we track Iona, it'll continue and eventually weaken as we head into Tuesday, Wednesday, and then we'll pay attention to the next, next disturbance, that next tropical depression. But a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, generally warm waters right now, and not a lot of wind shear right now.